Hi there, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building my Cyberpunk 2077 penthouse. Cyberpunk 2077, one of the most anticipated games of 2020. It was supposed to come out last April, this September. Now it's supposed to come out next November, fingers crossed. <laughs> but I cannot wait to have my hands on this game. I think this is going to be something that we've never seen before. I still remember the first time that I saw a glimpse of a trailer from Cyberpunk. It was during the E3. I always watch the E3 every year, the big gaming convention in Los Angeles. They always announce new games, trailers, hardware and i'm from the netherlands so these uh, conferences these showcases are always during the night here so i always invite a friend over and we make marathons out of it and i love these nights but we were watching the xbox showcase 2018 and at the very end of the showcase we thought everything was already shown but at the very end the screen suddenly got glitchy and red letters appeared like you can see them on very old computer screens and somebody thought, um, typed in a CD and after that a little bit later a red and when I saw these two terms together I already was so hyped I already I immediately thought about a CD project red of course CD Projekt Red is the studio behind The Witcher 3, one of the best games ever made, in my humble opinion. I got more than 400 hours in that game. And the only small point of criticism, it is more something to do with taste though, is that you cannot play as a girl in The Witcher 3. I love playing these massive open world RPGs. I, when I start that game, these games, I know I will spend hours and hours in these games. I love to immerse myself in games like these, but of course I'm a girl and I love to play these games as a girl as well. For me, it's a little bit more immersive. And of course, Gerald of Rivia in The Witcher is a dude. And of course, it would be very, very strange to play Gerald, as, uh, Gerald of Rivia as a woman. So I totally get that you couldn't uh, choose um, between sex in The Witcher 3. But man, the character customization in Cyberpunk 2077 will be so extremely deep. You can choose from three different life pods at the very beginning. I think the choice you make there will uh, determine where you start in the game and the character customization. Oh my god, you can do cool mohawks, different color hair, you can do all kinds of body modifications, tattoos. I cannot wait to create a character in Cyberpunk 2077. I created a sim, Cyberpunk sim. <laughs> and you can see her every once in a while in this video too. When I switched to live mode, I gave her this blue green hair and the big glasses and tattoos everywhere. Well, cannot wait. <laughs> but the world in Cyberpunk 2077 will be amazingly cool as well there will be two zones uh night city and the badlands i think the badlands will more be like a wasteland a desert area with desert nomads and night city will be a massive city with six different districts it's very much yeah asian inspired but there will be a latino community as well but there's a district called japantown for example with a lot of neon everywhere and for this build i wanted to embrace that neon feel you know but you have uh, several different districts you have a very cool district for the ultra rich as well and i came across some pictures of houses in that ultra rich district i will show a picture on your screen right now Oh, when I saw it, I thought this would be amazing for a Sims build as well. So maybe in the future I will do an ultra rich Cyberpunk 2077 house. But yeah, before we get more into this build, I, keep, I can keep rambling on about Cyberpunk for hours and hours. But yeah, I'm very curious if this game will really come out this November. Did uh, CD Projekt Red maybe bit a little bit more of that they could chew? 
Uh, the world in Cyberpunk 2077 will be yeah, very organic, like a living world. It appears to live on even when you're not in the game. There will be a lot of NPCs everywhere. What I saw from gameplay, sometimes you can see more than 100 people just walking around. And I'm very curious, will that melt your console? Will your console still handle that kind of data? I'm not sure, I know. At the, the initial plan of CD Projekt Red was to release this game for PC, but it got so popular and now they're going to do it for console too. Well, very curious. But let's go into this build. <laughs> yeah, I kept on rambling and rambling. Let's go into this build. Of course, like I said, I wanted to embrace the neon feel, you know, and it was extremely important to use a lot of neon lights in this build. You can see that I'm placing in light strips over here. They came with the spa day pack. And yes, the spa day pack was extremely important for this build because of these light strips, of course. You can change them in color. But I used the glowing floor tiles and wallpaper from the Spade pack as well on the pool. You can see it at the very bottom of the build. I already did that, but I still wanted to explain a little bit about it, how I got the pool in the purple color. I just used the normal watercolor in this build, but I used these glowing floor tiles from the Spade pack, of course, on the floor, but I used on the walls as well. They're not the floor tiles, of course, but you have these glowing walls too. In a lot of different colors, and in that way I could make that pool. These screens that I'm placing in over here, they came with the Moschino stuff pack, and they're so amazing. I never really used them before, I think once maybe. That was so nice of building this because I could use so many items that I've never used before. But the screens I was just talking about, I picked that cotton candy color, that pink and, and yeah, purple, that ombre color. But you can change up these screens in different colors. And there are several screens, but when you place them next to each other, they act like one big, big screen. So you can change them up in a cityscape, for example, or a forest or a space invaders kind of thing. So very, very cool item that I, of course, had to use in this build. If you're wondering where I'm building this, of course, I'm building this in the city, in The Sims 4, San Michuno. Uh, when City Living came for The Sims 4, we got this city, San Michuno. And in San Michuno, you can find a three different penthouse lots a very big one a one uh one in more like a brooklyn kind of style district and this one and i mainly picked this one because of the background you can see all these high skyscrapers everywhere with all the lights and of course that was perfect for this cyberpunk build Maybe you're wondering what kind of lights I'm placing in over here. They look very, very strange. They are a special kind of light. You can find them, of course, in your lightning menu, in your build and buy catalog. But you have several different options in your lightning menu. And one is called miscellaneous. And you can find these lights there. Just these lines. And they look very strange during build mode. But when you go to life mode, they disappear. And in that way, you can make your builds look lighter during the night, but you don't have to place in yeah, really just lights everywhere that could destroy the look of what you just built. But if you want to light up certain area of your builds, especially during the night, you can use these lights. I think they came with the base game as well. And of course, it's very cool that they disappear when you go to live mode. Of course, you had to use them a lot. Like I said a couple of times, I embraced that, that, that neon style. So I went with a lot of these items that were perfect for this build. You can see the, yeah, that, that neon sign over there. I think it came with City Living with the purple and the pink. That advertisement sign with the light. I placed another advertisement sign at the bottom as well. And yeah, a lot of neon lights everywhere. These neon fences. I think they came with Get Famous. You can change the colors of them them and some San Michino wall lights as well. I didn't want to overdo it if that makes any sense. Of course I could place advertisements, neon signs 
everywhere on this build but i still wanted to keep it kind of sleek and kind of sexy if that makes any sense Cyberpunk has a, uh, a very much of a gritty style as well and I wanted to combine that concrete with, yeah, with that sexiness in some kind of way. When you start in Cyberpunk 2077 you start off as V and V is your character, you can be a boy and a girl like I already said. And you start off in an apartment in one of the districts called Watson but it's, that's like a start apartment and i wanted to make this for yeah more rich character in the game but still not like an ultra rich character but this house could be very fitting for one of the gangs in the game as well for example yeah you can, you can just live here over here you can see that sim that i made on the left corner of your screen with the glasses and the the, yeah, the hair and yeah i loved so much creating that that girl but I went to, you could see her because I went to live mode and I went to live mode a lot during this build because I had to change up the colors of the lights everywhere, of course. If you want to change up the colors of the lights, go to live mode, select the lights and you can change the color or the intensity of the light over there and yeah, extremely important. You can see it here, I every single room I just lit up at first just with normal lights then I decorated the entire room and after I was done with decorating I went to live mode I changed up the colors and in that way I could still see very good what I was doing while I was building and I could change up the look when I was done with the rooms. Over there, yeah, I will create very small cubicles with uh, water walls with bubbles in it. I wanted to make them look like the small cub cubicles you can find in a nightclub, for example. And that, yeah, the nightclub feel, I embraced that for this living room over here, because this is a living room. That very big neon sign on the wall, I think it's supposed to be on a cinema or something like it. And that was something that I so much enjoyed while I was building this. I could totally go for that extreme style, totally different style. Yeah, I love that. You can see these, yeah, these water walls over there. And I'll place in a little bit more later on, of course. I made this balcony in this living room. You can see it in a couple of seconds. And I placed on the balcony, I placed them over there on the ground underneath that cinema sign as well. These glass yeah, floor tiles, they look like glass floor tiles, but they are dense floors actually. And of course I went for the, that purple blue color. You can just walk over them, but you can dance on them as well. Very, very cool. Over there I placed that very big television on the wall. You can see I tested it while I was building. It is functional just as a television, but I placed it there as a decorative item as well. I actually started one of the movies on the, you can play on your television in the game. And I started one of the, yes, not cyber, but space movies. And I paused the movie at the exact point where I thought it looked the best in the room <laughs> for the screenshots and everything. But of course, when you want to download this lot and put it in your own game, you can just use it as a television over there. I placed a lot of music systems, stereos everywhere, DJ booths, because I thought it was very, very fitting for, yeah, for a build like this. When I was building this, I thought about very loud music everywhere where you're living here. So that's why I placed a lot of the DJ booths everywhere. Here I love that idea of that, that small cubicle with the water walls so much that I wanted to do a little bit more with it. So I made these two as well. I still had a, a, a bit space there so I could place them in over there. I used a lot of items from City Living but a lot of items from Get Famous as well and especially the furniture is from Get Famous in this build. And I think these sleeping pots as well, I think they came with Get Famous too. 
These are these small rooms where you can sleep in, of course, in the sleeping pots. But I will make over here a bigger bedroom as well. I placed this rock on the ground with this koi fish on it. And maybe you already saw it before, already noticed it before. But I placed it in the purple pool on the ground as well. I sized it up a lot and you can just place rocks in your pools it do they don't get dirty or something like that in the game and especially because i wanted to embrace that asian influence in this build i thought these koi fish were amazing for this build but especially in the in that purple pool on the ground and i placed team crates in that pool so it was a little bit foggy everywhere with the koi fish in it you could see it in the intro as well i thought it was really yeah, Asian influenced and I love that. Over here yeah, is kind of the nightclub dance area. I already told you about the San Mishuno uh, or San Mishuno. What's it called? The Mosquito Pack? Yeah, San Mishuno Mosquito. The Mosquito Pack and these screens that I placed there on the wall and these wall signs as well. I think they came with dinos. Over here is the bathroom and yeah, I liked it so much with all these all these bubbles in the wall that I wanted to do that in the bathroom over here as well. I cut a little bit in the video process because it's such a massive penthouse. Of course, there are a lot of different rooms. Uh, there are actually three bathrooms in this penthouse, but I am only showing you one. You can see the other one in the house tour at the very end of this video. Same for a toilet here and there. And yeah, I think that's it. I think for the rest you can see everything. But I thought when I showed you all the different bathrooms, they're practically the same style, of course. So yeah, there are two other bathrooms. I wanted to create a fitness area over here because I thought you have to do a lot of fighting in the game and if you want to pump yourself up for it, <laughs> of course you got to have a fitness area over here too. You can see these koi fish there on the ground in the pool. Yeah, I sized them up a lot and a lot. And they were actually too big for the pool, but when you size up rocks a lot and they are too big for where you want to place them, you can still place them and you cannot see where they're sticking out of the, the ground or something where they're sticking out of the walls so that's very cool about these rocks while well, i was talking about the koi fish rock you saw me place in a car and maybe you're wondering why did you place in a car because it's in a penthouse how did the gar car get there well in my imagination there's a huge elevator and you can just lift up your car to your penthouse because you want to show off your very cool and futuristic car in your house. So that was my thought process behind it. The kitchen over here, I went with a lot of decorative items here as well. But I also went with pops of yellow here and there. The cyberpunk logo has a yellow in it and I thought it would be a cool combination with all these neon lights to have small pops of yellow here and there. I actually thought long and hard about this kitchen. I wanted to make it functional but I didn't want to make it that massive so I went with this style. I placed one of these knives here. You can see them on the wall here. Yeah, over here I sized them up and I placed them on the wall too because I thought it was kind of fitting for a video game inspired build. I don't know why but I just thought it looked cool. Over here is the area to lounge. These lounge chairs, they came with the base game in an update last year and same for the yellow color here. I wanted to incorporate the yellow color of the Cyberpunk 2077 logo in that way in the build. But yeah, then we're on the end of this video. I'm very, very curious what you thought about it. I love building this so much that I think I'm going to do more game inspired builds as well. So if you have a game in mind and you want to have a game inspired build for that game in your, uh, in your game, <laughs> very strange sentence, but you know what I mean, please let me know. I already thought about maybe doing a Fallout inspired build Witcher inspired builds, 
Well, there's so many options. Please let me know. Please let me know what you thought about this build as well. You can enjoy the house tour. We're already in the house tour, as you can see. I hope you will have an amazing day today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. You would make me super happy. I try to do a lot of different things with my builds. I want to keep you guys inspired for your own builds. Or maybe you just like to watch speed build videos. You're very, very welcome as well, of course. I really hope to talk to you next Tuesday during my next video. Then the new Star Wars Journey to Batu pack will come out, but we're not that excited about it, I think. <laughs> the build and, buy option, uh, build and buy items looks very cool though, but well, totally different story. I hope to talk to you next Tuesday. Have a good, bye. Have a good day. Goodbye.